and the April update for C3PO. So at this stage, we've completed all of the 3D printing. Uh, we've done a lot of sanding, so quite a few months worth of weekends of sanding uh, to try and get the finish on it pretty reasonable and get rid of a lot of the layer lines. It's far from perfect, but it's, it's certainly to a point that I'm comfortable. Uh, we've primed it, we've put a base coat of white, uh, just a gloss white on it. I'm still going to do a 2K clear coat over the top of that just to try and get that more of a shiny finish before putting the Alclad chrome paint on top of it. So it's a white base followed by a chrome and then it's going to have a 2K clear coat with a gold tint on it which gives you the, the gold uh, effect that C3PO has. I've um, been working on the animatronic pieces as well, so we've completed the build for that, a heck of a lot of servos, uh, so this is running the Batango, uh, this is the GCM build in terms of the um, animatronic pieces, um, first time playing with Batango, it looks pretty reasonably good actually, I've quite enjoyed having a play with that, I've just started the very very basics of the animation, just to make sure that all of the servos are moving in the right direction, the right ports, uh, for the right driver is selected and getting the range of motion for each of those servos kind of tuned in a uh, little bit to go on the arms so i had one issue with the sprockets that i had i couldn't get the exact sprockets that were there so i'm making some custom ones i've 3d printed them on so far they seem to be holding out uh, but i need to make one of them slightly smaller and then chop out another chain link it's just too loose for my liking i can see it binding up um, and a bit of play, a bit of slack in the movement. So we'll get that one sorted. Uh, just have to wait for, I've got some R2-D2 parts printing at the moment. Need to wait for that to finish. It's a four-day print. Uh, and then I will try printing out a new sprocket and I'll uh, take out that chain link. And then I should be able to have a, at least a good test out with the, the main arm parts connected. Um, so next steps on the base, I put that on this morning, so just made sure that it's all securely bolted down so it doesn't move. I've got another one of these round boards uh, to go underneath that, and I'll create a separation layer, probably about a couple of inches in height, uh, and then I'll create a 3D printed edge that will go around the, the outside um, with some oval windows all the way around the outside, and then I put a translucent film around it, LED lights inside and kind of make a bit of a base for it and that way I can hide the power cords um, the USB cords can run down the inside of the body for example I'll drill a hole down by the feet and then feed that out through and then have connections for power supply and USB out the back there so anyway that's where we're up to um, definitely a lot more to go on the painting um, next weekend if it's a good weekend I'll do the 2k clear coat just to get the base nice and shiny uh, and then probably the weekend after that I will start on the metallic paint. Uh, so, so far good, but a big, big project this one.